Welcome to the Titus Timeout Podcast. My name is Randy Zimmerman, and today we'll be discussing what's the difference between one pipe and two pipe thermostats. Although pneumatic controls once ruled the HVAC industry, they have largely been replaced by digital electronic controls. That doesn't mean that pneumatic controls have disappeared from the scene. It just means that people in our industry are far less familiar with these controls than they used to be. In fact, pneumatic controls are becoming somewhat of a lost art. One very basic question that pops up frequently is, what's the difference between one pipe and two pipe thermostats? At one time, everyone knew the difference, but now it's a question that people are asking again. So what is the difference? First, we need to understand that pneumatic controls are powered by compressed air. This so-called main air must be clean and dry in order to prevent contamination of any connected control components, and the standard pressure is 20 PSI. This is the pressure that allows all the components in the system to operate as designed. Generally speaking, if the main air pressure ever drops below 15 PSI, various components may cease to function. Whenever the air pressure is allowed to drop below 20 PSI, some components will become increasingly sluggish and slow to respond. So what does all this have to do with thermostats? Thermostats provide a room temperature control signal. This signal is a pressure that goes up and down typically from 0 to 20 PSI. In order to produce this change in signal, a thermostat has internal valves that open and close to build pressure or relieve pressure. Thermostats relieve pressure by bleeding the pressure off. In this way, thermostats consume air volume. Have you ever turned a pneumatic thermostat all the way up or down and heard it hiss? If you have, you heard it bleeding off pressure. Now that we understand a little bit about pneumatic thermostats, we still need to look at the types that are available. Let's start with the one-pipe thermostat. As you might guess, a one-pipe thermostat only has a single air connection. A two-pipe thermostat has two connections. So how are these thermostats installed? Looking at this piping diagram, you'll see that the 20 PSI main air is going to two different places. One line goes to the main air port of the VAV controller, and the other goes to a restrictor T. A one-pipe thermostat requires the addition of a restrictor T between the main air line and the thermostat main air port. The purpose of this restrictor T is to isolate the thermostat and whatever it's controlling from the main air line. By doing this, the restrictor T limits the air volume available to the thermostat and therefore it prevents the thermostat from bleeding off enough pressure to cause the main air pressure to drop. If this isn't done, the thermostat could easily cause the main air pressure to drop below 15 PSI, resulting in controls that lack adequate pressure to operate. Now let's look at a two-pipe thermostat application. As you can see, the two-pipe thermostat doesn't require the addition of a restrictor T because it includes an internal restrictor. This makes the piping much more straightforward. Simply supply 20 PSI main air to the thermostat main air port and then connect the thermostat branch port to whatever device you want to control. For this reason, I always recommend the use of two-pipe thermostats. Although both types can perform the same function, the two-pipe thermostat is simpler to install and eliminates the need to add a restrictor T. At one time, I'm sure every contractor carried restrictor T's in their truck. These days, that's much less likely. We hope that this information is helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.